Why are you laughing? <laughs> Hello world, I'm LJ and this is LJ Goes Sweden. Today I am in a car after work and it's probably one of the worst decisions that I have ever made. <laughs> but it's going to be awesome, I'm promising you. Because today a colleague of mine and I, we are driving to Umeå to finally test drive a Tesla. And I want to test drive a Model 3 because I'm still not sure if I want to buy a Model 3 or a Model Y. So now we have to figure out if I can camp in a Model 3. Unfortunately, we only have 30 minutes, but we still have 20 minutes of uh, 25 minutes of driving. Oh, I'm so nervous because the Model 3 doesn't have the, the what is it called, like the signal pull thingies? How do you call them? Um, the Model 3 without any stalls, so the blinking is going to be crazy. I want to try through a many roundabouts because they are supposed to be the worst challenge. We are going to be at a self-service testing, so <laughs> the demo driving. So we actually get the, the car key on our phone without seeing any person and we also leave the car back there after 30 minutes. So I'm still wondering how do they want to like tell us, hey, drop the car off. They cannot just shut the car off in the middle of nowhere. Do they charge us or whatever? Let's see how that's going to be. But for now, 24 minutes, I am nervous. We're going to see each other at the car. Oh guys, we are stuck due to traffic and it's Friday evening. Of course, there's a lot of traffic. We are in Umeå now. We still have 14 minutes due to this traffic thing over the bridge. And we actually have the car in 17 minutes. So four minutes, ah, maybe a bit of a gamble, but it's going to be fine. Unfortunately, I have to pee so bad. And he, my, my colleague is telling me, yeah, you can just pee at the parking lot. And I'm like, there is no chance of hiding or whatever. Oh my God, it's good. maybe we'll see. Maybe I have to drive really fast in 30 minutes. <laughs> Okay guys, I'm sitting in this Tesla and it is awesome. I don't want to swear here right now, but it is just so awesome. Of course, you can just look it up yourself, but you have like the screen. This is the wheel. You have basically here your blinkers. There's nothing here, nothing here. And I'm just amazed by the velocity of the speed, of the car already. I cannot speak. I unfortunately only have 19 minutes left. I still want to see if I can lay down in the car though, but this is probably something I'm going to do at the end. I'm driving around now. Awesome. It is so amazing. It is it is such a good oh I love it. It is just amazing. Oh yes, baby. Okay guys, I've just parked here and I have put down the um the seats in the back to lay myself in there. And I don't know, like I will talk about it more in detail later, but as of right now I fit in there, but it is not the most convenient or like the most comfy position maybe i have to put the seat a bit further to the front or it is really a bit smaller due to the smaller rear end of the car but i definitely have to lay in a model y in the future again to see the differences and yeah but for now i have 10 minutes left i'm gonna drive around enjoy the velocity it's only the rear wheel drive unfortunately but it's still amazing oh i love it So after we've now test driven some nice cars, it is now time to have a nice dinner at the German Döner Kebab. The best place for the Döner in the world, maybe. Yeah, you will see. I also got a nice Trocadero can. This is actually one of my favorite drinks in Sweden, which is not a thing you can get in every other country. And I just went full ham. Like the, the Döner, the Kebab, the, the fries and the drink. It's 134 crowns. It's expensive, but it's Sweden. So, and people complain in Germany about the Kebab prices, so... <laughs> but we will eat now and then on the way back to Earnshots Week, I will talk about the car. What I liked about the Model 3 without stalls what I hated about it, all these things are coming after the food. After having this delicious German Döner Kebab, it is now time to go back to Urchard's Week. What a crazy trip this was. Basically, I had this idea to going, going today at shortly after 2 and the, the appointment there or like the demo drive was at 4.30. So yeah, two and a half hours, not even. And we drive to Umeå like one and a half hour. Crazy idea. 
and then I can now say it was awesome. So the Model 3 that I was driving, it was the rear wheel drive version, only like round about 200, some 280 horsepower, I think. And I, <laughs> I basically have floored it so many times. <laughs> and you can actually drift, like kind of drift around with it when you go around corners and also if you go on roundabouts. So it is a lot of fun driving the car. Actually, however, one thing that I kind of felt not so good was when I was driving very fast and I used the brake, like I really floored the brake, it felt kind of unstable, like it was a bit wobbly and I was like, oh shit, now I swear it, I know, but <laughs> that's fine. Um, <laughs> but unfortunately, those 30 minutes are just not enough time to have, like to enjoy the whole Tesla experience. You basically have the chance to test the car but you don't have the chance to test the software and all the other features that the car has to offer, but still amazing experience. So now what about those blinkers? I actually tried some roundabouts and it's, it feels kind of weird because it really is different, but I think you get used to it. Of course, I always had to look, okay, which one now is the left signal and the right one? But I think you can get used to that. It's not a big problem in my opinion. But that was my Model 3 experience. But I really have to test drive the Model Y again just to see if I was just in a rush to make the space in the back comfy, uh, comfy enough for camping. Because I could kind of touch the, the trunk with my shoes. But I also didn't put the co-driver's seat to the front. But yeah, that's fine. Oh, I also didn't try the back screen because on the new Tesla, like on the Model 3, you also have a screen on the for the back people where you can also watch movies and everything. Ah, but next week again? <laughs> uh, let's see, let's see. Maybe I can convince other people at work <laughs> to go on a crazy test drive with a Tesla. Yeah, but let's also see the Ludicrest. Actually, when the video is coming out, it's Monday, so it's supposed to be on Saturday that they are releasing the Tesla Model 3 Ludicrous. And if they're gonna have it in Umeo, I wanna test drive that. Zero to 100 in three seconds, that's definitely something I wanna try. Ah, uh, yeah. But for now, I hope you enjoyed this video. Tomorrow we are going back right here, straight to the reactions for the Eurovision Song Contest. But until then, I hope you had a good start to your week. We will see each other tomorrow. Bye-bye.